Hello everyone, this is Tina. Uh, we continue on the query session and uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to join a collection and also filter values. Basically, it's a join collection. And for join collection, the only option we have is to using, is to use uh, e explicit join. So you have a join keywords there. I basically have the demo structure set up already. And uh, here, what I add is I add a phone number. Where's my phone number? Do you see? Okay, here, here. I have a phone number here, has ID number and type, okay? And also generated and in my person, a person can have a collection of phone number, which is a one to many relationship. In this case is a unidirectional one to many and I using join column to map into the database, the tables, okay? And I have extra method here to add a phone number into this phone numbers collection. Uh, goes back to our app. Uh, I create a new method which has a person here. And for the person one, I have two phone number. And this is the two phone number for the person one, okay? And uh, I persist it. And then for the person two, add the word towers. I also have two phone numbers. And uh, this is to persist them. So now, uh, if we want, we write a query like this way, type to query and, uh, sorry, 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 like this one, em.createQuery, and we give a query here, which is uh, from person uh, p join p dot numbers, where's my numbers, p dot numbers, and uh, this n here, this n here gonna represent every number, every, not not the numbers, the collection. It's gonna represent every number, where number dot every number. Okay, let's use an n, n every number dot the number. Okay, I suppose uh, uh, like uh, we just using something fake. Okay, do six four one. And uh, by doing that, okay, you have to using an object array as a type. You cannot give a person because the result is not the person. Let me show you the result, okay. Hmm? Why sometimes works sometimes? Okay, good. And uh, go here, okay. So what I mean? After we write this query, your result set will be an object array. It gonna contains two objects. Okay, let me show you the result. Take a look at. Uh, when we we add, I add this where clause here. It just show you you can uh, if you want to filter based on the attribute or the fields in the collection, you can do like this way. But uh, no re here no changes on the result set. So let me show you what's the result set for this one, okay? The result set is gonna be look like this, okay? Oh my God, what? here, 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 okay? It's gonna be John Brown. Join, right? First using this person, join this one, okay? And then use this person, join this one. And then use this person, join this one. And you this person, join this one. Okay, so it's gonna be John Brown and uh, 641 uh, 472-1234 home. And also we have a uh, John Brown 641-919 and 53-5432 mobile. And then you're gonna have Edward Towers and uh, 641-222-233-9876 uh, mobile and uh, last one is Edward and the uh, towels 641-888-0987 and uh, home 
So this is the result set returned by this where uh, this query. And if I write a person here, right work person dot class, which is I want to custom the result set is a collection of person. It won't work because you can see your uh, your result set contains person and also contains for the phone number. So you cannot write a person here. Instead, it's gonna have an object array, which is the first uh, the array will contains uh, two objects. The first one is a person. The second one is gonna be the phone number. So let me show you the type to array. Okay, here, object array, okay. query equals, and here we can still use in the collection, collection gonna be an object array, and uh, query, uh, sorry, 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 okay, uh, list equals, uh, query dot get result set, let's do a loop, okay, to make it it's m more clear, okay. Object, oh, mm. oh, 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 what should I do? Uh, it return a collection and uh, each return an object array, okay, and a list, okay, and here we use in system out dot uh, oh. Okay. Oh, sorry. This one should be. Oh, that's why this one should be array, right? Because this collection contains object array. So this O represent array, right? Represent an array. So the this array contains two objects. The first part is gonna be the person. The second part is gonna be the phone number. So how to do that? We have to do a down casting person, and this O. Let's you me. Let me using O B J gonna be clear otherwise you might think is obj zero okay and the next one is the second element second object in the uh, object array it's gonna be the phone number okay and now let me run and show you the result it's gonna run the join, uh, join collection okay and uh, let me run First, you have to understand the, the return result it gonna contains each record gonna contains two objects. One is the first part is a person, the second part is a phone number. So in this type of query, we cannot using the person here. Okay, and now it works. Okay, let's take a look at it. see here. See, take a look at this one. When I give a person, the first part is a person, right? You can see this is a person. And the second part is a phone number. Since I don't have a two string here, yeah, I don't have two string. String. Let me exclude also exclude the numbers. Okay, see. I'm gonna exclude the numbers in this uh, two string also because here you can see it has numbers. I wanna exclude. So you are clear. The first part is a person. Second part is a phone number. Okay, let's go. So now you can see, uh, we will see the two uh, do a loop, and uh, the first one is a person, the second one is phone number. See here, person, phone number, person, phone number, person, phone number, person, phone number. Okay, so this is the first uh, uh, case, and uh, make sure when you using a join, make sure you have a select uh, clause. If we don't have a select clause, it, you, it will return an object array because your your result set is gonna be look like this, okay? And you have to do downcasting and retrieve by yourself. Let me show you the second way, okay? Second way, mostly in when we write a join, we will write a select clause, which is here, okay? Let me copy this piece. Copy this piece, okay. 
what do we hear is here now return objectory suppose we want to using a person I just want to have a person value how to do that using select statement okay select class P and in this case it will give you all the person okay filter by the person so you want to return an ob object array for you which means it's gonna return the result which is this part okay this part let me show you and here now we are safe to write a typed query and here we can give a person and a query okay query two Okay, so let uh, you can uncomment to see the result. Okay, and uh, now let's use in query two, and uh, we give a, a person and uh, p person list equals query two dot get result set. I just print out this person list. Okay, and the URC it's gonna contain a duplicate because the result set is this part right this part this is the result set <laughs> sorry oh no this one okay this one and and here you can see take a look at you can see the result now it only contains the person okay and you can see the value of the person is duplicated so most of the time when we using join we were using select the class and we are also using distinct okay to filter otherwise it's gonna contain the duplicated values okay so the set third one is uh, using distinct okay uh, this is the second one okay uh, like it, let me make a comment uh, second step use select class okay and for the third step yes uh, third step use distinct a uh, keyword okay so here we add a distinct here and then the for the same person, it will only has one left in the collection. Okay, now you can take a look at for the John and Edward. Edward only has one copy in the collection returned by that. So that's what we talk, uh, that's the issues when we join the collection. When we join the collection, make sure you using join keyword, the ex implicitly join, which means uh, keep the reference, the reference one doesn't work. You must using join keyword to do an explicit join. And uh, when we using join, the result set will become become larger, which is like this way your result set here your your result set here become larger okay which by default will contains two parts the first part is a person the second part is a phone number so if you don't have a select it is gonna return an object array for you then you have to retrieve and do the down casting by yourself like the first demo we did and after we write the selector, it's gonna filter you. It's gonna filter to return a person or to return number for you. Okay, and when we do that, it's gonna might contain the duplicates. So make sure you're using distinct. Okay, so that's it for this video. And if you still have doubts about uh, uh, join a collection, you can leave a comment. And if you like my video, please share and subscribe. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye bye.